Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing, Dan? It's Friday the 13th, so that can mean only one thing. Friday the 13th, part five. Yes. Happy birthday to you, Jason. Enjoy, fam. That's how all gravestones should look. I'm surprised they gave him one. Yeah. No, he's here no, we're gonna find it. No, it's there. People come to crash the party here. Oh, they're grave robbers. I don't know if I would mess with this body. This is one that I wouldn't mess with. Oh. Oh. oh! Who buries him with a machete? Oh no, not the neck! That was foolish of them, wasn't it? <laughs> we buried him with his machete so he would never do this again. <laughs> so that the machete could never hurt anyone else. Oh, no. <laughs> not so much for that plan. Uh, you better run, kid. Why'd you even bother coming here? <laughs> Oh, it was all a dream. Well, what happened to Corey Feldman? He grew up. Yeah! <laughs> it's always an explosion. I don't know why. Friday the 13th exploding onto your screen. Now we're talking. A private youth development center. You're moving up in the world, man. Fancy boy psych asylum. You miss your own heavy equipment. Learning trades and whatnot? That's what's up. I don't know if I want a crazy person with that, though. How good is this place if you're not going to develop them into productive citizens of society? I don't know, teach them art or something. They're developing ditch diggers here, Dan, <laughs> all right? That's why he's in a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tommy Jarvis? Hi, my name is Pam Roberts. I'm the assistant director. I'm glad you're here. Well, this is off to a fast start. <laughs> Anytime, doll. Oh, <laughs> guy gives men a bad name, man. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. I'm Matthew Letter. Help destroy a family tradition. I'm sure that doesn't mean what you think it does. I'm not sure what else it could mean. <laughs> <laughs> what you're really doing here, Tommy, is preparing yourself to re-enter society and start a new life. Where have I seen you? The doctor? Yeah. Oh, I know where I've seen him. He was in uh, Last Crusade. He's how Indiana Jones got his hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I never noticed that before. Yeah. You lost today, kid. But it doesn't mean you have to lie. Where is your sister? She didn't die. You're right. She was fine to enter society, I guess. And that, but actually, they both—they were the only ones that survived, weren't they? Why did y'all give a knife to a crazy person? <laughs> you scared of rubber spiders? They call me Reggie the Reckless. No spider would scare me. <laughs> Well, it's not a spider, it's an alien, so... Mm. Pretty good match, though. Yeah. Well, he was make he was good at making them, wasn't he? Yeah. So you're the new nut, huh? <laughs> so they call us? I ain't one of you, man. I'm just visiting. My granddaddy works here. That's how you got in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, we found a couple of your kids on the Hubbard place again. Everybody out. Yeah. Cut out the fooling around. Hey, man, they got them hormones. What do you want? Yeah, they're teenagers. What the hell? Morning, Ethel. Hi, don't you look lovely today? Poor shit. I want this loony bin closed down. They're all crazy. You tell them off! You think I don't know what those two perverts were doing in my yard? Say it like you mean it, Ma. Would you shut the <laughs> fuck up? <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Next little bastard comes near my farm, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. <laughs> That's it, my final words. Yeah, whatever. You should have rested for that. That's that constipation talking. Yeah. Look at all the candy bars on this guy. Hi, girls. Hi, 
Joey. Can I help? I'm really very good at doing laundry. Matt never assigns it to me. I don't know why. Hmm. Because of all the chocolate on your hands? That's right. Please let me help you. It's don't. really no problem. Oh, Joey! Joey! Will you just get out of here? If that's how you feel, forget it. Booger eater. <laughs> Hi, Vic. You get lost. Come on, don't be like that. I got two <clears throat> chocolate bars, see? Leave me alone! Man, you better just walk away. Yeah. Here. I'll just put it over here. And later on, when you're hungry, you can have it. Go away, dude. I think you're really out of line. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. Now that's out of line. There's no taking that back. Oh, my God. Victor J. Fat. F-A-D-E-N. So you'll be careful who's out here. Do we not vet these kids at all? I mean, the guy had anger issues. Kid got shuffled around from home to home till he came here. It's a good kid. What do we got here? Do you have to do that right there? Oh, God. Why would you do that in front of everybody? You even hacked the limb off. Did you see that? Yeah. Bunch of pussies. <laughs> Show some respect. He's a dead kid. What's wrong, pal? I'm telling you, Pete, this is bullshit. This really sucks. Just do it. Fix it, man. Those cunts aren't gonna wait all night. Where'd you get greasers at in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I don't know. Jesus, man, can't you do anything? Get this done by the time I get back. I gotta take a crap. <laughs> you didn't do that before you left. <laughs> Should have. I didn't see him bring any TP out here. Uh, nature's TP is all around him. Mm. Looking like a little poison ivy. What are you doing, douchebag? Uh. Oh! Oh! Jeez. And that was a totally real head, too. <laughs> All right, if you got the car started, you're a dead man. What a bunch of posers. This ain't starting, man. You fucked up again, it ain't starting. Come on, everybody, this ain't starting. Please kill him already. No, not the neck. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Uh, took you long enough. You sat there and let him annoy us all. <laughs> Some friend of the audience you are, Jason. Die! Die! Die. I remember that. <laughs> Wait, didn't he also like really shave his head down too? Well, that was years ago. I thought he would have kept up with that. I guess he's not completely crazy. Yeah. I stand corrected. Gramps, can I go see my brother? We'll see. You know how I feel about that. But Gramps! I said we'll see, Reggie. It's his brother, man. Yeah, it's family. You miss Joey already. So do I. Well, I hope Victor gets me coming to him. I'm sure he will. Tommy, would you mind telling Eddie to come downstairs? <laughs> Why is everybody touching his masks? <laughs> Picking on the new guy. Oh. Relax, Chief. You're asking for What's trouble. Wrong? No sense of humor. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit crazy. You're not gonna take shit from nobody, though. That's for sure. I'm gonna chop you into itty bitty little pieces. <laughs> You big dildo. Eat your fucking slop. <laughs> Ain't I make the best goddamn stew in the whole wide world? Best goddamn stew in the whole wide world. Oh, this guy needs to be at that farm, too. Yeah. Holy shit. Who the fuck are you? What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Am I eating two days of light during a meal? Clean all the shit out of the chicken coop and dump it behind the shed. Then I'll fill your stomach. Yes, ma'am. Poor guy. This is be a very poor part of Crystal Lake. It appears to be, huh? This is the Ozark part of it. <laughs> Looks like we got us a maniac on the loose, huh, Sheriff? This is the most podunk part of Crystal Lake I've ever seen. It may not actually be by Crystal Lake. Hmm? Hey, Lana! Sorry, Buster, we're close. That's all right, I just want to take out oil. This fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> it will be him. 
I would like Lana to go with nothing on her. And who wants her? The pride of the Younger Institute of Mental Health. Boy, the pickings must be slim out here. <laughs> Sheesh. What's this or Edith? There it is. You just stay right there, dog. That's <laughs> just what the doctor oh, ordered. I see working at a hospital has its perks. I don't know if he loves me, but I think he does. Oh, come on. You could do better. <laughs> you really can. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you are so hot. <laughs> okay, Paris Hilton. Wow! Oh! <laughs> Poor kitty. Where'd that cat come from? He's a mouser. Come on, will ya? Lana! Hey! Why are you so impatient? Oh! <laughs> Did he see him there? <laughs> right on top of his bald spot. Yeah. <laughs> He left you a little appetizer there. You're gonna waste a lot of money this way, Smarty. Oh well, that just means more for me. <laughs> she don't care. Mm. She'll take the leftovers. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where the hell did Jason come from, man? I mean, ah, it's... like, usually just kind of has a reason, like, you see him immediately, but still. Maybe he's stalking Tommy? All right. I mean, we saw in the second one, he, he left Crystal Lake to hunt down that one girl who survived. Oh. oh, come on, he's just not appear there like that. <laughs> See, it's fine. It's just chicken. It's just these chickens, man. Come on. Especially for the occasion. Little J to get us going here. Zoom in, we can't see anything. Oh, oh it's just this guy. Okay. <laughs> he said he was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never got his lunch. No. <laughs> I should go wash up. Okay, sugar. Boy, that was, that was over and done with real fast. <laughs> Why do you got to make my editing job so difficult? Good camera work. It's great camera work, but like we can't watch all this together, fam. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. No! Oh, God. It's freaking rude. Kill him. I don't care, but not her. <laughs> oh. Oh, Look that's not her eyes. That's not what I thought was going to happen. I thought he cut her head off. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not this. Oh, you're going to crush his face. Oh. oh. Jeez. Look, why don't you take Tommy with you? Tommy? Pam's taking Reggie to see his brother tonight. Why don't you ride along with him? Yeah, great idea. Now let's go. Look, he's tired of being around all these crazy people, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get away from these nut jobs too, and you're gonna make one of them ride with us. <laughs> Why the tense music? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's just a car ride. Promise me, it's me, open up. That's too reckless. Oh my god, it's good to see you, dude. Damn, you look good. Hey, that's the guy from uh, uh, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, Spider. Is it? yeah. <laughs> hey, say hello to Nita. She's my girlfriend. Hello, beautiful. Hey, little brother, what's happening? <laughs> hey, Pam. Yo, Pam, come here, baby, come here. <laughs> she, this is my this girlfriend. This is my friend, Pam. Hi. She's my girlfriend. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're freaked out by light. <laughs> oh, God's sake. I got you, didn't I? Were you dumb or something? You're one to talk. <laughs> it's not as dumb as you. You're crazy from the loony bin! Not the one you want to fuck with. <laughs> I was gonna chop you up into itty bitty pieces, my friend! Are you hearing me? You're asking for it. Get him! Damn! He can fight. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like he wants people to try to hurt him. He started it. Yeah. He came looking for trouble and he got some. Apparently he's the black belt in karate. <laughs> Reggie, we've got to go now. What are you mad about? You did what you had to. He just sat there waiting for the guy to get up. Yeah. 
Hey, hey, you okay? Mm -hmm. Some damn enchiladas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they could fix. Oh. <laughs> I know that feeling. Who's that? <laughs> Look at oh, her. Yes, yeah. Ooh, baby. Hey, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. They got a good relationship here. I think so. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? Yep. Hey, girl, what's up? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Yep, that'll do it. Like, like these are like so random. Like, you wouldn't even near, anywhere near the damn camp. Evil's evil. Matt's gone. George, too. And Tina and Eddie haven't come back either. Look, why don't you all go inside? I'm gonna go find everyone. And you, little reckless, I want you in bed asleep. It's a great time to sleep. A whole shitload of people are missing. <laughs> oh my god. God, sick. Calm down. I'm making your dinner. Oh. Gross family here. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> about time, you fuck what? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we can make this stew. Now I'm definitely passing on it now. Really? That was the worst circumstance to happen. <laughs> you guys really need a mechanic in this town because no car seems to work. 20 cops and no mechanics. <laughs> yeah. Robin. We've been here in nearly uh, eight months now, right? Uh-huh. That's a long time to get to know somebody, don't you think? Yeah, be quiet. Watching the movie here. I, I want to make love with you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it! He tried. I mean... Uh, her response wasn't the best either. He's got social issues like the rest of these kids. You don't need to pretend like you don't, you know? Yeah. This girl. All she does is listen to music. Can you wait? <laughs> Just there. Jeez. Well, he's actually in the house now. Yep. We haven't seen his damn face yet. Nuh-uh, have we? No. Oh, come on. Not another editing thing. But she's been wearing on her robe this whole time? Just don't bother me, but it's like you're giving me so much to edit here. <laughs> No. He was just there this whole time. Well, that's not quite as bad as, you know, what happened to Kevin Bacon. Very true. Well, he's just in there with her now. <laughs> yeah, you know music is going to be the death of you. <laughs> right, we could have gotten creative with her a little. <laughs> Yeah, that works too. Kind of like, you know, head through the speaker or something. <laughs> Just throw out the window. Yeah. Tommy, you in here? Oh. oh. What is it, Reggie? What's the matter? It's me. What is it? In Tommy's room. Reggie, it's me. Reggie, are you listening? Reggie, what's wrong? Answer me. What's wrong, Reggie? <laughs> That yeah. took her a while. <laughs> yeah, y'all sense y'all sense of self-preservation is retarded. Nice! There he is. That's how you make an entrance! <laughs> Hope you don't mind I let myself in. <laughs> About time we saw his face though. Yeah, it took long enough, huh? Yeah. We've still not seen Tommy since he ran off into the woods. Yeah, I hope he's okay. <laughs> help! Uh, does that help anybody? How the hell did you get here? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> he just left her behind. Hey man, you don't gotta run faster than Jason. You just gotta run faster than the next person. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh no! There's the doctor. He had to spike through the head. How did that happen all the way out there? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to find Tommy now. Very nice. Now you can unleash the freaking dragon inside of him. Oh! I always fall for that. Oh, there's the grandfather. And his eyes are out. What the Good. hell? What did he do to you? He was just there. The damn guy just like casually strolls everywhere he goes. Everybody else is running. He's always hot on their trail. I say running doesn't seem to help. She apparently can't get her footing. Oh, just give up, why don't you? <laughs> damn. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There you go, Reggie. You felt that. When you just stand there and take it, of course you do. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Reggie. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> Reggie, you are now going to be a, a member of this youth reform school because you've killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> and seen lots of dead bodies. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Since when does shit hurt him? Come on, even that's too obvious. Oh! <laughs> yeah! I'll tell you what, this is how you fight him, though. <laughs> Turn into a chainsaw versus sword fight. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! All right, face the job. Oh, you got. Oh, for God's sake! What a crock of shit! <laughs> Come on, you gotta prime the damn thing. Prime it! <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Come on. There he is. Took you long enough. Jesus. Mommy. Where the hell have you been, man? <laughs> All the times to have a traumatic event here. Keep calm. Remember your training. Your training? <laughs> oh, come on. You just gonna stand there and take that, really? Here we go. It's something. Yes. Oh! Oh, that's a bad spot for that. <laughs> that's a very sensitive spot. I know. He's fine. <laughs> okay. Takes more than that to kill him. He finally succumbed to his wounds. <laughs> there you are. You look like you're dying to die. <laughs> All you did was piss him off. Oh no. Where'd that come from? Oh. Good work, Reggie. Yeah. Oh, Damn it, Reggie. He had one job. Well, Tommy, wake wake up if you're not dead. Yes, okay, thank you. I was trying to say, did you actually pass out for a minute? <laughs> oh, ooh. I was gonna be, sorry, Reggie, gotta lose a leg. <laughs> ooh. Oh! Yeah, he ain't getting up from that one. Wait, who the hell is that? Is that that damn ambulance guy? It's Roy, yeah. Why? We found this on Roy. The kid who was axed to death at the woodpile was Roy's son. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess when he was called to the scene and he saw that it was his own Joey all hacked to pieces. Let's drive a man over the edge. We also found these. I guess he used the Jason thing to... Cover up with. Hey, what the? He killed a bunch of people with nothing to do with his kid dying. No. Tommy. <laughs> How the hell did you get that in your bed? Oh. No, he's still traumatized. <laughs> Did 
It's just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. There you go. Why is that in there? What are they doing at this hospital? He's gonna run off into a thunderstorm? Oh no. What? What the heck? Where'd the kitchen knife come from? Why, Tommy? Oh, he's so screwed up. God, you are like the poster child for crazy. Right, so that's number five. Mm hmm. I think so far out of the ones we've watched here, this one's probably not my favorite. I agree. And I'm a little disappointed. I thought that really was going to be Jason there. And it just turned out to be Roy. Yeah. And my understanding is this, this film is kind of divisive with the fans for a lot of the same reasons. Because it is somebody who's not a Voorhees. Honestly, I think it was kind of a, a neat concept, but I think the movie itself just had a lot of weaknesses to it. The characters just weren't as good as some of the other movies. The deaths, you know, we didn't have the amount of special effects that we saw in some of the other films. Right. A lot of things just generally didn't make a lot of sense. Jason usually wouldn't venture out like that. He would, like, keep it pretty low-key close. I mean, he did, like, one or two times. Yeah. But normally, he's just going to keep it closer to Crystal Lake there, right? Right. So, like, the, this time, he's, like... Running off into the woods, God knows where. Right. And taking on people there. So, like, I mean, in the second one, I know he went went back to that girl's house and did that. But he was everywhere this time, and he was being incredibly random. Yeah, that's the thing I don't understand. Like, I get that Roy is upset about his kid's death. And, you know, you want people to, to get punished for that. But the guy that actually killed your son went to prison. Like, you're not going to get a shot at him. But you're going to kill all these other kids who had nothing to do with his death. You're going to kill these counselors who had nothing to do with his death. And that's what I'm saying. It's like... You're gonna kill random people around town had nothing to do with the day. I don't know. There, a lot of these people were kind of shady, but I don't know that they deserve to be killed, but... Eh. Whatever. It's one of those things where it's kind of hard to appreciate the motivation for everyone who's involved here. I did appreciate those two uh, yokels out in the woods. <laughs> Mom and her weird son there. They were funny, if nothing else. They were. They probably, for the most part, saved your movie <laughs> a little bit here just for being who they are. Which is why I'm a little ashamed that you killed him off so quick. But... Yeah. And they didn't do a very good job of, you know, explaining what's going on with all these other kids who are there. Because it's supposed to be a developmental program. Like, we know that Joey, he looked like he was a little bit slow, maybe. The guy that killed him obviously had an anger problem. We know what Tommy's deal is. He's got trauma from his experience with Jason. Oh, sure. Everyone else is like, why are y'all here? I don't know. Tommy was crazy. Like, I've never... Like, I wasn't expecting, like, you to not be able to handle a, a situation like that. Yeah. But it's like, the second somebody lightly crosses you, you go insane and, like, absolutely beat them down. So He's got a very defensive personality now. And I don't understand why your experience brought that on. Because that's kind of weird. But he, like, he really took on that persona. My guess would be it's... It's kind of his reaction. To, it's kind of like why people buy guns after crime happens in the neighborhood. It's like something bad happened to you and your family and like your automatic in instinct is to, to better yourself so it doesn't happen again. Okay, but that's not bettering yourself. Well, the anger part of it, yes. But he did. He, we did see him you know, use some pretty good fighting skills there. He, obviously, he learned to fight. I imagine he's just got that rage inside of him to you know, to actually stand up and do something when, when in danger. Oh, well, okay. But this was kind of one of the things that bothered me too, is like, we saw him use these skills to beat up the one kid, but he never actually used it on Jason, or on Roy, I should say. That bothered me, man. Like, come on, of all the times for you to whip out your kung fu there. Yeah. Get after Roy. Like, go out there, you know, put a shot, a kick in there, do something, but... He was going slow enough, you could have just, like, hit him ten times before he hit the ground. And especially, too, because it wasn't Jason, you could have done some actual damage to him, knocked him out, and, you know, things would have ended up just fine. Yeah, well, of course, if he'd, like, started doing that route... Robin would have been up in the barn going, Stop, Tommy! <laughs> I'm like, he's been trying to kill all of us. And he's been succeeding. Yeah, that's true. That's too bad. And, and he had some, uh... I like some of the, uh, people that we recognized there, too. I thought that was kind of fun. It was kind of random there that the, the guy from... The guy who gave Indy his hat <laughs> is just the, the head of the boss of this place here. Yeah, apparently he likes to hang around kids. So you, you should have gone up to the, to the kid who killed Joey and said, You lost today, kid. <laughs> But that doesn't mean you have to like it. And 
<laughs> that would have been missed. <laughs> Well, she's, well, she's going away from murder. <laughs> and then the Indiana Jones thing kicks in, in the background. And he's just like up in there in a prison riot. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that would have been an interesting film. <laughs> uh, I know that has nothing to do with the fan, but I don't know what else to talk about on this movie here. So. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it wasn't the best movie. There's, there's really not a whole lot to discuss there because it didn't really do anything that's going to blow you away as a fan of Friday the 13th, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. I mean, it had a ridiculous amount of nudity that I'm going to have a hard time editing, but I'll deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, so if there's one reason to watch this movie, it's for all the blatant nudity. Yeah. And I don't even cover up afterwards. I'm like, give me a break here. <laughs> you know, under normal circumstances, I'd be at home not giving a shit, but... You know, I gotta put out a, a production for you guys here, so... And not get, like, eaten alive by YouTube, so... Yeah, that's kind of the downside for us, but yeah. we'll get around it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's what blur screens exist for. Yes. But I think that's the proper place to end this, guys. <laughs> We're just getting right into Horror Palooza here, so, guys, it's only gonna keep getting more fun from here. But as always, if this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. Should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. Also, if you guys feel like supporting this channel even further, I hope you'll consider becoming a member by hitting that join button. It's not required, and Dan certainly wouldn't recommend it, but we would love to have you guys anyway. Absolutely. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.